All right. It's called the PGA Championship for a reason. My on-location guest this week, caddies for one of the best players the PGA of America has to offer, the caddy for Ryan Vermeer, fellow Nebraskan, Miles Shaughnessy. Thanks for the time, man. Welcome. Thanks. Thank you. Yeah. Dude, I got my Husker red on for you. <laughs> Love it. And you're, you're down there in Oklahoma country this week, which, I mean, mm, normally that's really hostile good. territory. This week, it's, it's a good thing. Mm. Hey, congrats on qualifying. How many major championships is this now that you've caddied in? Uh, this is number three for me. Did uh, did Bell Reeve in 2018, Beth Page in 2019, and then uh, here. And then I gotcha. did um, all of his, his tour events when he won the Club Pro in, uh, in 2018 as well. That's right. Yeah, former PGA of America national champ. Um, you guys qualified again. That's awesome. Um, and you're like me now. You're just a part-time caddy. How does it feel to get away from the office and do some looping? It feels – it's great. I, I love being back out here, um, just kind of being in that, you know, you know that fishbowl atmosphere of, you know, people everywhere. And, and just being back under under the strap is so much fun. It's, it's one of my favorite things to do. Yeah. How, how are the crowds this week? Is it big crowds out there? They are. They're good, yeah. Um, we saw a decent size – crowd yesterday and today we saw a good one playing with uh played with dustin johnson and gary woodland and matt kuchar so there was a good following around around them today um but i can only imagine it's going to get bigger and bigger you know as the week goes on well yeah that seems i you guys go out with gary a lot i mean fellow jayhawk and then i've seen dj with you guys a couple times recently i don't know if his cooch is always in there but that's kind of your regular tuesday game now huh <laughs> kind of feels like that yeah yeah ryan uh made a nice put on on the last to to soften the blow a little bit, but Kucher was just rolling everything he looked at today. So I'm going to try to channel some of that magic on Thursday. That's funny. I took him uh, in our earlier caddy line earlier this week as the first round leader, Matt Kucher, 100 to 1. So it's nice to hear that he's rolling the rock this week. What was the game? What were you guys playing? Uh, it was just a team, uh, team best ball, I believe. Uh, it was DJ and Ryan versus Woodland and Kucher. Um, and, you know, Evan was playing pretty well. But like I said, I mean, Kuch was there four or five holes. He made it, you know, he made a couple 20 footers in, in nine holes, you know, just run into a buzzsaw like that. Hard to hard to do a whole lot more. <laughs> can, can you make some putts out there? I mean, obviously, <laughs> Kucher did. I mean, it, the greens are small. So I guess if you hit the greens, you know, you, you're, you have a reasonable look. Is that the case? Yeah, yep. They're small and pretty undulated, so if you're in the right spot, you're likely going to have a really good look, um, and that's all it is. There's there's just so much slope in them that really on on a lot of greens, there's not a whole lot of places that you can even put pins. So if you can kind of keep yourself below the hole there, or looking up the right angle, um, you can have a really good look. Well, yeah, I, I want to dive into the course a little bit more because you grew up caddying on a Perry Maxwell course in Omaha, your Omaha Country Club. Uh, you know, tell me a little bit about the golf course a little more. How would you describe it? Like, uh, you know, I haven't been around it a couple times now. Yeah. Um, so it is, it does actually on the greens feel a little similar to, uh, Omaha country club in that way of, <clears throat> uh, just a lot of undulation and some, some good slopes. Um, the one way that it differs, uh, there's a ton of just short grass everywhere and a lot of runoffs. Um, so if you do get a little greedy, maybe going at flags, uh, and you miss just a little bit here or there, I mean, you're not going to see it like a lot of other courses stick and hold around the greens. It's going to roll off a good, you can roll off up to probably 20 to 30 yards away from the hole. Um, so you got to, you have to be really dialed in with your approach game with your irons. <clears throat> and then, you know, just making sure you're in good spots off the tees. Uh, the fairways are wide. They're, from what I'd heard, the renovation that uh, was done a few years ago, um, they almost doubled some of the fairways with how much width there is so um not necessarily have to be accurate off the tee just accurate coming into the greens right and yeah i mean i've heard that about the short game it's that you know you're gonna find yourself having some chip shots this week so you know, guys that yeah. are sharp with their short game you know might have a chance to thrive i guess uh had ryan played it at all before this week no no he hadn't we uh <clears throat> we drove down sunday from nebraska uh, and played 14 holes uh, on Sunday for started to get a little bit of weather coming in. 
Um, so that was the first time he'd seen it was this week. And it, it feels like to me when I saw he qualified, I knew it was there. I was like, man, this is great. This is it's a Midwest course. You've got bent grass greens. Like, I guess talk about the excitement level for you and him, and and just how it fits for his game out there this week. Yeah, um, the excitement level really it, it's really high. Like I said, it's been a couple of years since I've been able to get under his bag. Um, so just to kind of to get back to there, I know there's some excitement for both of us with that. Um, and then, like you said, bent grass greens, and especially the way they are, feels very similar to OCC, where I've been able to caddy for him before in, in some U.S. Open qualifying. Um, and it just it feels <clears throat> not necessarily like home, but, you know, there is that little bit of a Midwesternly feel um, going around and then just around the golf course as well. Um, definitely doesn't feel like, like foreign territory. Right, and you guys have to be more comfortable in the situation too. I mean, you know, we talked about you talk about the times you all the times you've caddied for him, and then now you guys have done this in the major championships, you know, on tour a number of times. I guess just talk a little bit about the comfort level between the two of you, and then as a team, kind of heading out there, you know, up against you know what'll be a big test. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I was thinking about that this week. I. I've been caddying for him since I was pretty much 13, 13, 14, you know, doing U.S. Open locals at OCC uh, where I grew up caddying and then sectionals and, and everything that has, has evolved from that. So it really is just a, such a comfort level. Um, last year I did U.S. Open locals for him in Nebraska, and that was the first time I'd caddied for him since 2019. And, I mean, it was – it was like riding a bike, <laughs> just getting back out there and, and, and felt good. We got through that uh, local site that year and, and went on to sectionals um, and have been able to kind of keep that mojo rolling a little bit. So um, not, you know, it's just something that, you know, we've done this enough times together. It's just pretty comfortable. Um, not even just, you know, seeing a lot of the same lines on putts and off tees and things like that, but just banter going down the fairways and, you know, walking around just it's it's comfortable that's cool to hear man well hey we're all rooting for you uh looking forward to seeing you guys teed up make some birdies this week make a bunch of pars and and uh, on to the weekend love uh catching up with you thanks for the time cool man yeah thanks anytime